Carlisle United have been in their own half for most of this opening three minutes and there's a bit of a speculative effort from the number four Sam Hughes. Worth a try isn't it early on in a game like this? Yeah. Opportunity for the boys to put some pressure on the Chester goal now with the free kick. Over on the far right hand touchline from an attacking sense for the Blues. In comes the delivery, it's high, it's deep, it's good. In fact Sam Fishburne will challenge for that and that wasn't far away at all was it? Um, he was worried at the start of the season, I won't, he won't mind me saying about the fact he wasn't getting goals. A couple came in, in three games, two in three games for him over the recent run and he looks a much different player. What a ball that is. Carlisle United with a fantastic chance here. And that's it, that's the opening goal. Superb finish from Charlie Watt. Took that really well, didn't he? A fantastic ball. You could tell as soon as that ball left um, his boot that it was going to go through. And Charlie Watt, fantastic first touch. And he puts the Blues ahead. And there were only, what, eight minutes on the clock. That's the start they'll have wanted. Takes it short. Gets it back. What will he do? Beats his man. He's given it to Sam Turner. That's a good cross as well. Oh, what a chance that was. He'll be disappointed there. I think it's Gianni. We'll check when he turns around. It is Max Gianni. What a delivery there. That was fantastic stuff from, from Chester, to be fair to them. I've been sat a little bit too deep for the last 10 minutes or so. Probably because Chester have forced that, to be fair, is Swales picks it up off the flick from Fishburne. Looks for the through ball to Walton, he's through. Will he get his shot off? He does. What a finish that is. Superb stuff. That's a great flick from Sam Fishburne. Adam Walton has got on the end of it. He's took a touch and keeper, no chance. That's 2-0. That's what the boys needed. They've got the two-goal cushion. Can they now completely relax, push on? And add to it, here comes that long throw, Rowan sends it deep, flicked on, oh, I think that was the defender who got his head on that. I might be doing Sam Fishburne a disservice, if it was Sam, it's a good one, because he's made the keeper work. Superb by head to Killsby, Killsby to Swales, that's another great ball, looking for what, will he deliver? Yes he will, goes deep, Sam's up, and he heads it over the bar just, yeah, that's decent from Carlisle, from the Chester boys, just before the second goal, but here's Killsby, sending it long in towards Sam Fishburne. Nice little touch over to the far side for Louis Bell. He's going to feed it back for Keelan Leslie and he'll be disappointed with that for Keelan. He wants the overlap. He got the overlap but then decided to keep hold of the ball so it's lost a little bit of its potency but they're building again. Hughes for Chester. Looks for the ball inside. At number seven he's a tricky player isn't he Sam Turner? Oh and there you go. That's what can happen from a, an attack that looked like it was about to fizzle out. And Chester City have got one back. Probably have to be fair and say that Chester deserved that goal for the spell that they had just before Carlisle's second where they were pushing. They've taken the slap in the face. They've recovered. And they've most definitely got themselves back in it. But what can Carlisle do with this good possession that they're having? That's a decent ball through the middle. And another great ball. This could be another great finish. This is superb stuff from Carlisle United. It really is. They are clinical, incisive and ruthless whenever they get into these attacking positions. Ryan Swells, again, it all comes down to a fist ball through. It's so difficult to do. He's got hold of it, he's took his touch, and he's left the keeper with no chance. Carlisle three, Chester one. Kelsby and Watt combine once again over on this left-hand side. Ball drilled in, touched well by Fishburne, finds Adam Walton. He's going to spread it wide, is he? Yes, he is. He's got his pass out there to Louis Bell. Uses Walton. Again, it goes wide. Jack Ellis, he comes inside, uses Bell. Bell's going to shoot. He does shoot. That's not too far away. Not a bad effort. From a two against one situation to a five at the back. Carlisle United, it's spread through Swalesy. Swalesy uses Charlie Watt. He's going at his man. He's done that a few times. Uses Swales. Swales has got room. He's going to shoot. Doesn't quite keep it down, but again, absolutely no harm in that. Will he go for it? He does. He's well. Oh, he caught that well. For a second there, I was about to cheer. Deep clearance from Ellis. Hooked back. Dealt with by Elliot Day. Picked up by Sutton. Feeds it inside to Turner. Turner uses Haywood. Haywood uses Gianni. Was that a shot? Probably not. I think he was trying to find his teammate and captain Dean Lowe. Blows the whistle. What puts his boot through? It's clipped. It's looking for Fishburne. Keepers off his line. Tries to recover it the second time. It's hooked back in. Hits the top of the bar. And that was unlucky there from United's captain, Keelan Leslie. 
Carlisle come again. Leslie Hunk hoops it forward. Fishburne picks it up. That's a great first time delivery. Oh, and it was looking for the run there of Louis Bell, who tried to get his head on it. Not the biggest of players, Louis, but he does like to get in and around that box and cause problems. Liam Buckley takes the throw in, gets it back, clips it forward. Missed clearance, gives an opportunity for Turner. Turner cuts it back, that was decent. Playing the percentage pass there, didn't know what was happening, but there's a long range shot, has to be dealt with by Robinson. Does well to get his hands behind that. That to contend with on what's a fantastic Brunton Park pitch. Here comes the corner, it's deep. Oh, and there's an unmarked man at the back post, and there you go. Poor defending there from Carlisle United. They haven't watched that runner at all. And it's the number five, Willie Harrison, who's ghosted in. Got himself on the end of it. It doesn't matter who it's come off there after because it's put Chester right back in it to hook it over towards Louis Bell. Walton tries to find Charlie Watt. Watt's got there. Good movement from him. Back to goal. Uses Ellis. Ellis with a decent delivery and a food first touch and a shot on the spin there from Louis Bell. Took a deflection. Again, it's the quality of these touches that are creating the chances. How are you, man, ref? I hope your watch is wrong. Get it blown. Throw in. The clock is ticking down. It goes long. And there it is. He has blown early, but we'll have that. Calar United 3, Chester 2. Absolutely fantastic game of football to watch that. As you can imagine, the Chester boys have gone down on their haunches, fell on the pitch, but they can be proud of that. Absolutely superb advert for youth football.